Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about MINA protocol and my predictions for 2023 and 24. Let's start. In June 2017, Evan Shapiro and Isaac Meckler started O1 Labs, a open source project that aims to create a decentralized, scalable and secure blockchain. MINA uses advanced cryptography and repeating ZK snarks to provide an elegant solution rather than relying solely on computer power. But how did the story begin? How did MINA come about and how did Amrit Kishal, who has worked at Intel, Ripple and Coinbase, become involved in this story? Isaac and Evan were close friends. Isaac was a graduate student, working in the field of cryptography and both he and Evan had a strong interest in technology. They were researching cryptography and zero-knowledge technology and working on it. Later, they started working together, initially on various ideas such as machine learning. Isaac continued to work on this project while still a student. They first began discussing block sizes and found that block sizes were a big trade-off. They had to solve this and the block size had to stop growing. This trade-off gave rise to the idea of 22 kilobyte block size. Isaac also shared his office with Howard Wu, co-founder of Alio and Michael from Stackware. Although they all shared the same office, they were all working on a type of zero-knowledge proof company. They were working on an idea. Emre Tikshalp, who later joined O1 Labs, had previously worked at Intel, Ripple and Coinbase. Emre was mainly interested in technology side of things. Coinbase was of course a reputable and reliable company, but for Emre, it was like a reliable crypto bank. Emre was more drawn to new blockchains. He was also interested in ZK or Zero Knowledge Technology, this revolutionary technology. To him, ZK was like a magic. Emre was also looking at Coinbase Ventures portfolio. When he met Evan and Isaac, the founders of Mina Protocol, he was also looking at Coinbase's venture portfolio. At the time they met, O1 Labs was looking for someone to fill a business development and management position, and Amre joined O1 Labs. It was then that the idea came to Amre's mind. How can I help? How can I be a part of this technology? How can I contribute my own experiences? And of course, his interest in ZK file only grew. O1 Labs later split into two, giving rise to the MINA Foundation. The MINA Foundation was established as a non-profit foundation to support the MINA protocol, its participants, supporters, developers, and projects. Emre Tikishalp is currently the CEO of O1 Labs, which has incubated MINA for years. When asked why he started working at O1 Labs and what influenced him, Emre Tikshalp responded as follows regarding his choice of MINA among the other projects invested in Coinbase Ventures. When you start working with a team, you want an environment where you can have a good time and be respected. One Labs meets these requirements and has a unique atmosphere with people who are motivated and interested in technology. This reminds me of my first days at the Coinbase. When I first joined, I realized this was a special place. The concept of ZK and the idea of implementing ZK was a big factor. Bitcoin or Ethereum could solve problems by changing many parameters. Other projects had similar logic. O1 Labs and MINA provided a completely unique approach. And it was a sustainable approach. They solved the block size issue and ZK proofs are valid for entire blockchain, so you have no longer have to consider any parameters as a trade-off. MINA was designed in a very sustainable way. Emre Tikshalp also thinks that we are in the very early stages of ZK technology. 
In the future, everything will be based on ZK and every transfer will be private and every full node will be able to verify quickly and easily. You will be able to experience ZK with any application, but these are still far from us for now. It was also extremely difficult to program something with ZK, but now there are SDKs. Developers can easily program with what we know first. These aren't impossible, but they are time. So in the future, everything will be based on ZK and we will able to experience with these things. Even Isaac, one of the co-founders of Mina Protocol, has said that he talked to an anonymous investor in the early days and the investor approached him with skeptical questions like, can you really do that? Now when we look back, everyone can see what has been done. Mina Protocol has taken from the development stage is truly amazing. Mina has come a long way and we have entered the year 2023. But let's take a look at where this journey begin. When we look at these photos from 2017 and 18, the only thing that comes to mind is how fast time has passed and how much this idea has been embraced and has come to this day. Isaac also answered the question of whether O1 Labs has a team to develop ZK proofs and Mina's promises as follows. Many crypto technologies are vaporous, but most of them are unusable. But I think zero knowledge proofs basically have capacity. O1 Labs has very talented programmers, communicators, and collaborative teammates, all of whom has this capacity. So, what is OLNAPS focus on currently? If you ask an investor who invested in Mina, but what are they focusing on in the office at the moment? Mina Protocol co-founder Isaac responds as follows. Currently, OLNAPS is fully focused on ZK apps and making updates to Vital Berkeley Network for Mina. As well as testing ZK apps, the use of Snarky.js for writing ZK apps has greatly increased and people are beginning to develop on ZK. From the feedback, developers believe that Snarky.js is the easiest development kit for ZK. OneLabs continues to support these initiatives and people and have even awarded the Mina Prize with ZK Spark. Currently, over a hundred people are working at Mina a significant number of them being engineers and the number is expected to grow with the value they produce. Isaac is most excited about ZK apps, which are real-world accessible applications developed by the team, especially ZK oracles that the team can easily handle. ZK oracles is like a key that can unlock the lack of many real-world data with this, you can do many interesting things secretly. Currently, there is such a lack in the ZK ecosystem. ZK Oracles will enable many applications to be functional by unlocking this lock. Isaac is very excited about ZK Oracles to see what will happen after they are published on mainnet. He is also excited to develop proof systems. By the end of the five years, Isaac will also be a member of the One Labs board and will participate in important decisions and act as an advisor on projects. He will help engineers and those working with cryptography. In the past five years, our developers and community has developed and learned from multiple testing stages. At the end of this process, we are now ready to launch Mina to the world. On Mina, Developers can provide financial services while developing applications like ZK apps. While respecting data privacy and everyone can access applications securely from their phones. And this is just the beginning. Although we will face new challenges, Mina is ready to draw strength from its new participants as the world's lightest and most accessible chain. With the hope for a more efficient aesthetic and fair future for all of us. Yes friends, that's how Mina's five year went. In this part, I will talk about my own predictions for the 
2023 and 24. Please do not interpret any sentence as an investment recommendation. This is not a financial recommendation. MENA protocol has come a long way since its inception and has reached hundreds of thousands of people. This number will increase even more with the increase in demand for privacy. People will want to own their own data more and more every day. People want to secure their own data without any central authority. This will be mentioned more in the future. The term Web3 will become more important and the desire for decentralization will increase. MENA protocol which offers privacy in such an environment and its snark supported applications will stand out. Ethereum and other chains will want to use the features offered by MENA and make their projects more private and secure. ZK Bridge will be actively used. Funds will begin to flow to MENA. The use of Snarky.js will increase. And with this increase, MENA will announce a large developer incentive program. With ZK Oracles, they will be able to access any information on their website secretly, securely, and without any trust in any Oracle service which will be very exciting development for me. Soon, we will able to set up a node on the phone, which will make the MENA the most decentralized protocol on the blockchain, even more than Ethereum. Most likely, adaptation will flare up after the announcement that MetaMask will add to the MENA protocol network. There will be a bull run for ZK, and I think we will see MENA protocol as the leader in ZK technology at least $15 when we see these days. This number may be higher and will vary depending on the market situation at that time. The token supply increases that the community wants will be realized and the supply will continue to increase at a lesser rate. MENA will have a very high level of usability and we'll have a dozen of use case. NFT projects in ZK filed will offer many different utilities and we are now able to build the feature we deserve without sharing our information with third parties. Who knows what's next and what time will show us. If you like this video, drop a like and subscribe my channel. And do not forget to comment below. See you at the next video. Stay with Mina.